fans around the world continue to mourn Minnesota's brightest star, Prince. Now, state lawmakers are discussing a permanent purple tribute. The musician died Thursday after being found unresponsive in an elevator at his Paisley Park studios in Chanhassen. An autopsy was done the next day, but it could be weeks before we know the results. Prince was 57 years old. A growing memorial of balloons, flowers, and original artwork lined the fence at Paisley Park and First Avenue. Prince's family and close friends gathered on Saturday for a private funeral. His estate says that a musical tribute is in the works. Since news of his death, landmarks around the world have illuminated Prince's iconic color, purple. Minnesota lawmakers want to make his color our official color. And Pat Kessler joins us now with more on that. Pat? Hey, why not? Yeah. I mean, they're doing it at the Capitol right now. The push for purple comes after countless purple memorials in the days after Prince's death. And for one state senator, all of this makes perfect sense. Purple rain. Prince was known by a single name and a single color, purple, part of the many tributes to the Minnesota native. I mean, he had his own color. Who, who has their own color? He owns purple. That's why it all made sense to State Senator Karen Housley. Minnesota should designate an official color, and it should be purple. It's in a tribute to Prince, it's a, a nice gesture that we could do as a state, but purple can mean so many things to many people of this state. Minnesota already has 18 official state symbols, including a state flower, a state fish, a state bird, even an official state muffin. And it turns out 24 other states already have state colors, but none of them might fit as well as Prince Purple. Purple was spontaneously the unofficial color of mourning for Prince. And Senator Housley says Minnesota's color will be immediately recognized and understood everywhere. Prince, we feel in Minnesota that he was ours and, and he loved our community, but he also shared his gifts with the whole world. So we're very, very lucky and very proud to have him as a member of our community. Well, we mentioned 24 other states already have official colors. There's lots of blues, golds, and yellows, but if Minnesota adopts purple as its official color, it would be the only purple state in the nation. So people talking about it, who knows? Well, you I know? mean, you think they'll do it? I mean, they don't agree on much over there, but this is pretty easy. <laughs> you know, a lot of people, Republicans and Democrats, seem to be agreeing about Prince, and they're all mourning Prince. Who knows? we got a few weeks left in the session. We'll see where it comes. Yep. All right. Thank you, Pat.